Hello everybody. Alleluia, Christ is risen. What do you say? He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Actually, we're coming towards the end of Easter time now. Nearly 40 days have passed since we celebrated Jesus rising from the dead. During that time, he appeared to his close friends. I've told you some of those stories. But he also appeared to a lot of his other followers as well. Paul tells us something about that in his first letter to the Corinthians. Paul writes, I passed on to you what I received. This was the most important, that Christ died for our sins, as the scriptures say. That he was buried and was raised to life on the third day, as the scriptures say and that he showed himself to Peter, and then to the twelve apostles. After that, Jesus showed himself to more than five hundred of the believers at the same time. Some of them are still living today, but some have died. Then Jesus showed himself to his brother James, and later to all the apostles. Lots of people had seen Jesus. They could be sure that he had risen from the dead. But at the end of those 40 days, we're told, the time came for Jesus to leave them and to go to his Father in heaven. In Luke's Gospel we read, Jesus led his followers out of Jerusalem almost to Bethany, he raised his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he was separated from them and carried into heaven. They worshipped him and then went back to the city very happy. They stayed in the temple all the time, praising God. Of course, you might wonder why Jesus had to leave his friends. Why, he couldn't just stay around, keep on appearing from time to time like he had done before. The answer takes us to the reason why Jesus came into the world in the first place. Jesus came so we could learn to be God's children again. God never stopped loving us all, his sons and daughters. He never stopped being our father. But we forgot what it meant to be God's children. A lot of the time we forgot even that we were God's children. We forgot how to live the way we were supposed to. So Jesus, God's Son, came into the world to teach us how to live. His dying and rising again at Easter showed us that if we truly trust God, and live his way, then nothing at all can stop us. But you know, when you learn how to do something new, anything, there comes a time when you have to try it out for yourself. If you're learning to ride a bike, there comes a time when you have to take the stabilizers off or when whoever's holding you up has to let go. If you learn something new at school, there'll come a time when the teacher said, right, you've seen how to do it, now you try it. And that's what happened. Jesus went away so that we could carry on his work. And by carrying on his work, we grow more and more back to the people we were supposed to be, more and more into God's children. But Jesus didn't leave us entirely on our own. He sent the Holy Spirit to help us share in his work, to help us change and become God's children. 
but that's a story for another day. Now let us pray. Hands together. Glory to you, Jesus our King. You came down to lift us up. You came to share our life on earth so that we might share your life in heaven. As you ascend to heaven, may we too be raised up to eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus, you showed us what it means to live as children of God. May your Holy Spirit change us to be more like you, so that one day we may follow you to heaven. Amen. I'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Glory to Jesus, the King of Kings. Glory to Jesus, the Lord of Lords. Glory to Jesus, who ascended into heaven. May our risen and ascended Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen.